So my Ichigo Kurosaki build is now complete. We're going to try to go over everything in this video that makes this build a fan favorite. We'll talk about the pros and the cons. Clearly, as you can see right off the bat, damage negation could be a very big problem. But also, we'll talk about a way to get around that with a few buffs. Now, this build isn't something that you necessarily need to be a high level for to create nor do you necessarily need to be towards the end of the game to get most of the materials and weapons for this build so it's a pretty simplistic build uh, most of the weapons you'll be able to get early game very early game and you guys can go through the game at whatever level that you are you don't have to have all of these stats exact but you can get close to the build and the build type by just copying some of the stats maybe some of that dexterity you might want to have some of the dexterity up and you might want to have your faith up to at least you know a good level of 26 or actually 46 if you're going to be able to use the the black blade spell right there incantation so if you are at that point you do have the black blade incantation you for malakif then you will need to have your faith around 46 in order to use that incantation which is the replica of Getsuga Tensho so you want to have that that's a very big part of this build but if you don't have that we can still go you know pre Getsuga days before Ichigo learns that move now aesthetically speaking we got to have the orange hair shortcut with the no shirt we have the bandit mask on we have the blood soak manchettes and we have the sanguine noble waist cloth also for talismans we have the faith canvas talisman we really don't need that necessarily we have the earth trees favorite plus two you guys can use pretty much whatever you want for these talismans except for this dragon crest great shield also you guys can swap out this other talisman for faith and you can use something like um something for stamina or you can use something to recover your health since we will have low damage negation it's a very dangerous build to play probably early game too but uh, it's a very fun build to play so we're going to talk about a lot of the pros so we're going to get to that soon but yeah you guys could possibly also use this um, rotten wing sword insignia to also greatly raise attack power with successive attacks if you guys believe that you will be using or doing successive attacks to your opponents so this build is also really good for pvp really good for pvp really good for pve early game late game if you know what you're doing now we'll talk a little bit about the weapons that we have on here so i do have the dismounter found early game you guys can look that up um like i was saying these weapons did carry me from the beginning of the game to the end of the game um so we have bloodhound step on that one on the first weapon that's our opening move we have it on the second weapon as well to keep our versatility, to keep our ability to move without getting hit. But the second one is the Bankai released form of Zangetsu. So it looks cool. We can enchant it with lightning. When we have the Asher War Bloodhound step on it with the King quality. Alright, with King Affinity. Sorry. But this pretty much wraps up my Ichigo Kurosaki build. Now I may do a part 2 to this video showing you guys how to use this build in PvP. Because I do be wrecking people with this build. Also the next build video I'll be bringing you guys is my Quincy build. My Order You Ishida build. And this build is crazy as well. Pure magic build. 99 intelligence. And a bunch of other little gadgets. Special treats and spells. But uh, stay tuned for that guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.